Hello Internet, I'm Scott Berman, and when I'm not making weird random videos on YouTube, I work as a real estate agent in sunny Southern California. Now there's many different kinds of agents out there, but me, I'm special. I'm a real estate agent for nerds. That's right, lots of agents can do a great job helping you buy or sell a home, but only a select few can also discuss why you should install bat poles in your living room. Today, I'm gonna take a look at fictional superhero homes and tell you what they'd be worth in the real world. Welcome to Berman's World. Welcome back, internet, to Superhero Home Appraisal. We'll start with the granddaddy of them all, the greatest superhero of all time, the Blue Beetle. I'm just kidding, I, I don't even know where the Blue Beetle lives. I'm talking about Batman, Bruce Wayne, and his massive estate, Wayne Manor. So to calculate the value of his home, first we have to determine the location of the fictional Gotham City. It's thought to be part New York, part New Jersey, part Chicago, but since I'm from Chicago and completely biased, we're gonna go with Chicago. Feel free to argue in the comments section below. According to a recent Bloomberg analysis, Winnetka, Illinois is the most affluent Chicago suburb where the average price of larger mansion style homes came out to $872 a square foot. To determine size, we're gonna use the Wayne Manor from the greatest Batman ever, Adam West. Yeah, his mansion was based on a real home in Pasadena, California, that's approximately 16,599 square feet. Wayne Manor includes a pool, library, state-of-the-art bat cave concealed by a hologram, and at least two master suites. One for Bruce Wayne, and one for any of the 13-year-old children he convinces to fight crime with him. For the bat cave, I looked at real estate developer Larry Hall, who turned a nuclear missile silo into a $3 million doomsday bunker. Very similar to the Batcave, except without Batman's supercomputer, his dinosaur statue, or his inexplicable giant-sized penny, which we're leaving out in the assessment of our home. So if we were to apply the size of the home itself to Winnetka's $872 per square foot, we're looking at a total of $14,474,000. To get the total home value, we're gonna add the three million for the Batcave and an extra million just because mentioning that Batman lived there instantly increases the value of the home. So in total, for Wayne Manor, we're looking at $18,474,328. Go ahead, make me an offer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, follow, and if you're looking for a home in Southern California, look no further than Scott Berman, your super realtor. Note to sell, buy a cape.